An historic canal lock has been restored after years of decay and vandalism. It's so important it's been listed as a scheduled monument. And today the renovated structure was unveiled by the actor and canal enthusiast Timothy West. Our transport correspondent Keith Wilkinson has been taking a look and as he found it didn't all quite go to plan. A newly restored, highly protected, prestigious lock and a bit of precision was needed to get the narrow boat through the narrow gap. Oops. Anyway, no serious damage. The next bit was likely to be tricky too. The actor Timothy West was ferried in to carry out the opening. and all went well. They call these guillotine locks for obvious reasons. Instead of swinging open, they go up and down like a guillotine. This one near Kings Norton in Birmingham is a rare survivor from the 18th century. It's vitally important. I mean, this has the same kind of protection as, as Stonehenge. So that, to put it into context, it's, a, it's, it's of an equivalent kind of value to the West Midlands area as perhaps Stonehenge, you know, which might sound strange to people, but it's got the same protection, the same graded listing. It's a scheduled ancient monument, after all. So vitally important. It's such an unusual piece of uh, industrial archaeology and uh, absolutely fascinating. We live in an age where we, we don't make an awful lot, do we? No? Not visible, anyway. And so it's good to be reminded of just what went on and how it still survives and, and, is, and is, can be put to use. The locks had been considered at risk because of decay and vandalism, and they're still having problems, suffering recent malicious damage. Thanks to the £200,000 restoration project, this fine structure is no longer on the Heritage at Risk register. It may not be as well known as Stonehenge, but it is now preserved for future generations to admire. Keith Wilkinson, ITV News. Well, preserved, provided they don't carry on clouting it. <laughs> well, I was to say, yes, for careful drivers. <laughs> yes. You've got to anticipate. You know, there is steering of narrow, but you've got to anticipate. I haven't had to go yet, Bob. Oh, I'm I hoping know. one day. Anyway, it would be nice if we had the weather to go with it. Talking of which, let's get the forecast from Lucy.